Hi, I'm Anna Mustoyani and I'm a master's student in University of Pat. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you the highlights of recently published paper in Biotechnology and Bioengineering Journal entitled Feasibility of Raw Glycerol Conversion into Single Cell Oil Bisigomisets under non-aseptic conditions. Plant oils are the main feedstock for biodiesel production, while single cell oil can be used as alternatives. Oleaginous zygomycetes are known for their ability to convert several low or zero post angroindustrial residues into single cell oil. The principal byproduct during biodiesel production is raw glycerol that can be converted under specific conditions into single cell oil by zygomycetes. The single cell oil production cost is high due to the low productivities of oleaginous microorganisms and the large amounts of energy consumed for medium sterilization. The aim of the present study was to develop a single cell oil fermentation process of low cost using essential oils as antibacterial agents in the growth medium instead of medium sterilization. Several strains of oleaginous zygomycetes were cultivated on nitrogen-limited media with raw glycerol as the sole carbon and energy source at pH 6 under non-aseptic and for comparison purpose under aseptic conditions. Under non-aseptic conditions, the bacterial populations reached high levels, resulting in a lower fungal biomass production than that produced under aseptic conditions. However, the lipid accumulation remained unaffected or in some cases induced by the presence of bacterial population. From this screening, the maximum biomass and single cell oil production was observed by Thamnidum elegans and Mortierella ramagnana. In an attempt to reduce the bacterial populations and optimize the fungal growth, Thamnidum elegans was cultivated at various culture conditions at pH 4 and 5. The presence of orange and sessile oil in the growth medium as antibacterial agents had no effect on bacterial growth, while the presence of thin essential oil efficiently controlled the bacterial populations in the first hour of growth, resulting in a higher fungal biomass. The maximum biomass under non-aseptic conditions was observed in the medium in which thin essential oil and a mixture of antibiotics were added. In this case, no significant differences were observed in the growth yield in comparison with that obtained under a certain condition. All previous data concludes that the bacterial contaminations had no effect on lipid accumulation since large amounts of lipids were accumulated inside the mycelia although the fungal biomass was essentially declined. Therefore, a two-stage single cell oil production process was developed in which growth was performed under aseptic conditions, while a further growth and lipid accumulation performed under non-aseptic conditions. In this process, the maximum conversion yield was around 13 grams of lipids per 100 grams of glycerol, which are comparable to those obtained under aseptic conditions. If you are interested in our research, please contact us. Thank you very much for the watching.